is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 mercedes-benz gle 350 courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because this essentially is the e-class suv by mercedes-benz this one is going to be competing with the bmw x5 and the volvo xc90 for example so ultimately this this video though we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there's essentially two different configurations for the GLE 350 first one being the rear wheel drive variant starting at $56,150 which is a very modest price bump from the 2022 model year by only $450 a lot of manufacturers are doing somewhere around 900 to a thousand typically on average so only 450 that's not that bad all-wheel drive version then is going to start at $58,650 but regardless of which configuration that you go with the power plant on the GLE 350 is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower at 5800 rpm 273 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm power center rear wheels are all wheels through a nine speed automatic with paddle shifters which you will be testing on here in a little bit zero to 60 time it's going to differ slightly dependent upon the configuration that you go with 7.1 seconds for the rear wheel drive seven seconds flat for the all-wheel drive then with mpg numbers coming in at 19 city 27 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 19 city 26 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the gla wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes it is labeled dynamic for dynamic select it's located just to the left of that touchpad controller it's going to give you different drive modes like eco comfort sport and individual allowing you to really tailor it to your own liking but essentially this drive modes will adjust things like the shift points of throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test at the same time and let's see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right here's our start go yikes this thing is quick paddle shifters have a slight delay to them as expected in an suv but dang this thing is quick definitely doesn't feel like zero to 60 and seven it feels more like zero to 60 and six and a half or something like that this thing is definitely you're not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway it is a very nice acceleration here in the gla 350 without a doubt but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so as expected you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes coming standard as far as this 60 zero stopping distance goes it's going to come in at 118 feet a mercedes-benz always does a wonderful job with the braking system it's definitely on the firmer side of things definitely not a softer squishy braking feel like you sometimes do get with suvs and typically with suvs that number actually comes in at the upper 120s if not 130 so 118 feet that's brilliant for the gle 350 so i personally have no issues with the braking feel on this thing the touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent double wishbone type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension and an adaptive damping suspension as well. That's one you always look for, especially in luxury vehicles. Essentially what that is, is it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, but also tightening up that suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds. So it's gonna give you that smoother ride. It's also gonna give you better handling. So that is why I always like to recommend that because it is an instant noticeable difference if you drive a vehicle without one versus with one and i can tell you guys right off the bat although hagerstown the roads are pretty darn good but ride quality is 100 percent on point so definitely not having any issues there steering feels actually a little bit weighted on the heavier side of things as well so a lot of times suvs they come in on the looser side when it comes to the steering feel it's just less driver emotion but Mercedes-Benz typically does a pretty darn good job with driving dynamics and that is included in the steering feel. So I like the weight to the steering, I'll put it that way. So as cabin noise goes, I'm going 56 miles per hour. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. It is a very serene cabin, not a whole lot of exterior wind noise or road noise really at all coming into the cabin. Definitely not the wind noise. It is 
very quiet in this SIG, so I am loving that. I'm definitely catering to what this vehicle is. Touching on visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back, so you're not gonna have any issues there. But did want to also mention, rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the GLE 350. So whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So it's kind of like automatic headlights. Just one less thing you gotta worry about. So that is a big convenience feature really there as well. And I did want to also mention there is a head-up display available that goes for $1,100 if you wanted that. Essentially, that's just going to project your speed, speed limit, and safety features up onto your windshield, better helping you keep your eyes on the road. So that's going to assist with forward visibility then as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 finished in Mohave Silver Metallic, which, by the way, is a $750 paint option if you wanted to go that route. It's kind of like a light brown, so it looks dang good in my opinion. I always like uh, different colors, I guess you could say. But let me go ahead and show you guys real quick where this thing is made. The VIN actually starts with a 4, which means it is made here in the U.S. Now, it doesn't mean that the parts are not going to come from Germany. I know the transmission is from Germany, but for the most part, this thing is built in the US, at least the GLE. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Dual horizontal aluminum bars will come standard unless you go with one of the AMG line packages, which we do have, in which case you are going to get a single aluminum bar with a diamond block front grill. And that's gonna be kind of like those chrome accents kind of found within the front grill there. So it definitely looks good. Did want to also mention that there is an illuminated star available for an additional $500. If you wanted to go that route, that definitely looks very good at night, illuminated by LEDs of course. Chrome accenting found in the bottom portion of that front bumper with dual chrome accents on both sides with uh, front air curtains as well, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination though. To the sides though, LED headlights do come standard and they are full LED headlights, so both low beam and high beam of course. With LED daytime running lights, get the automatic feature of course and automatic high beams, which was a new feature for the 2022 GLE, but now again coming standard across the board for the 2023 as well. So if you have your high beams on at night, since the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams. So very convenient feature there as well. And there is an adaptive front lighting system that will be optional on the GLE 350. Essentially, when you're going around the bend at night, the headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend. So you're less likely to hit a deer or a bicyclist or a person or whatever the case. So definitely a safety feature and it's gonna help you see better at night as well around the corner. So that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Definitely looks good with our AMG line package that we have here today, but let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the GLE. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of this one, starting all the way up top there, aluminum roof rails will come standard. Satin chrome window surrounds also coming standard as well. Rear privacy glass, yet again, standard. Satin chrome accents on the door handles. Didn't want to leave that one out. That is a pretty cool look. Uh, a lot of Mercedes-Benz has that as well. Take a look at the side mirrors. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors will come standard. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals as well. But not only that, power folding side mirrors also come standard. So when you lock the vehicle up, the side mirrors are going to fold in. When you unlock it, they're going to fold back out. So that is pretty cool. That doesn't always come standard, even on luxury manufacturers, actually. So I wanted to mention that. Take a look down at the wheel setup then. 19 inch twin five spoke alloys are going to come standard. However, there are several different optional wheel configurations for this thing, including the AMG line wheels that we have today. We actually have AMG kind of embossed into the wheel. So definitely a very nice look. And there are 20 and 21 inch wheel designs available on top of that. So overall, nice side profile here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back, first thing I want to mention is there is no shark fin antenna up top. So kind of interesting. Most vehicles, I would say 90% of them out there have that shark fin antenna, but a very clean look up top without it. I will say that, but just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, of course. Rear window wiper affixiated to the rear glass. You got that formatic badging, meaning the GLE that we have today has the all wheel drive system. That is what Mercedes calls their all wheel drive system because every manufacturer names it, of course. You do have LED taillights coming standard. I absolutely love that look. Very bright back there. LED license plate lighting actually as well. So that is pretty cool. You do have a little bit of added chrome accenting found in the bottom portion of that rear bumper. And then to the sides, a very nice look here. Integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always here is that exhaust clip. All 
All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the GLE, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate that does come standard on this thing. So if you have your hands full of groceries or kids or whatever the case, it is automatically gonna open up for you. So that's definitely convenient. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 33.3 cubic feet behind that second row. With the second row folded down, that is going to bump that up to 74.9 cubic feet. But there is a ton going on in that cargo area, including of course, cargo lighting, but grocery bag hooks coming standard tie down anchors there's a cargo cover back there that's going to come standard there is some netted storage on the uh, driver's side in the back of that cargo area as well that is pretty cool and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor that is where you're actually going to find a spare tire as opposed to the fix a flat which i personally prefer i don't know maybe i'm used to it but you can also probably fit an ice scraper within that spare tire underneath the cargo floor as well so basically everything you could probably want in the cargo area then but now making our way up to the rear legger and first let me start by saying there is a third row available for the GLE. It's a $2,100 option. We don't have it, but I had it last year when I reviewed the GLE. So not a whole lot of space going on back there. So we're just going to go ahead and move up to the second row because that is the configuration that we have here today. 40.9 inches. That is quite a bit of space as far as rear legroom goes for that second row there. For reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had sitting behind my own driving position there. Rear ventilation does, of course, come standard. There's a rear center armrest with cup holders that will come standard as well there's a couple phone charging ports back there a little bit of storage around those phone charging ports as well but if you wanted heated second row seats that is available for 580 dollars if you wanted to go that route four zone climate control is also available that goes for 860 dollars so both rear passengers can set their own temperatures that is pretty dang cool one thing i would have liked to have seen though especially in a vehicle like the gle is rear window sunshades I'm kind of surprised i didn't see them back there but still very comfortable back seats i will say that but then make your way up to the front seats power adjustment front seats with four-way power lumbar coming standard memory settings for both driver and passenger yes you usually never get the passenger side you always get the driver's side in luxury vehicles but passenger side can actually set three memory settings as well i thought that was pretty cool and mercedes-benz typically always does that but i always like that heated front seats coming standard leather at seating coming standard but leather seating is available for one thousand six hundred and twenty dollars if you wanted that ventilated front seats go for four hundred fifty dollars and there are also multi-contour front seats with the massage function that goes for eleven hundred dollars if you wanted to go that route but overall because of all the adjustments seating was 100 percent on point plenty comfortable no issues with taking this thing on a long road trip now let's make our way to one of my favorite parts the steering wheel and here's why tilt and telescoping of course but it is power adjustable it is leather wrap that comes standard but there is a wood leather combination available for $600 and that's the one you're looking at right now and between the wood on the steering wheel and the wood just above the uh, passenger side glove box surrounding the air vents when I first got in this thing it smelled like a new home it smelled like when I was building my home as opposed to a new car so it's got that new home smell because of all of the wood that is included in this which I personally love I mean new car smell is good but quite honestly the new home smell is a little bit better so that is what this thing smells like if you wanted to heat your steering well though that is an additional 250 dollars as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here essentially all of your buttons are located on one side of the key You've got lock unlock and of course that power lift gate button as well but it is all keyless entry with a push button start and then you got the remote start via the mercedes me mobile app if you wanted to go that route as well so all i'm going to do here is simply put my phone in the brake and press that black engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster will come standard on the GLE 350 and I love it here's why there is a designs and display section so if you go all the way over to the right here you're going to get designs and display and that is going to give you a couple options including classic sport progressive and understated that completely changed the look of the gauges and it looked absolutely amazing now of course you get everything else you would expect like there's a digital speedometer there's your outside temperature there's speed limit recognition technology as well as you're driving along the road you check out how many miles you have left until you hit empty the list goes on but pretty much everything you could possibly want up there and the best part being you can completely customize the look of the gauges so loving that but now making our way to overall interior quality there is a panoramic sunroof that goes for one thousand dollars we do have that option so 
That is a massive sunroof. It goes all the way into the back seats as well. Auto dimming rear view mirror with homely controls throughout the three different garage doors. I'm definitely a big fan of that. Dual zone climate control coming standard, but there is that optional four zone climate control available. Wireless phone charger can be found just in front of the dual cup holders here. So that's always very nice. Did want to mention another option that we have with us here today though. It goes for $180 and that is going to be heated and cooled cup holders in the front here, just in front of the touchpad controller. So if you have a coffee, put it on the heat button. Or if you have have a cold drink whatever that be you could put it on the cold cup holders button and there's a little bit of ambient lighting within those cup holders as well so we'll get to the ambient lighting in a little bit you know what let's just do it now 64 colors of ambient lighting coming standard mercedes-benz does ambient lighting better than anybody else including these massive grab handles for both the driver and passenger you got ambient lighting surrounding that as well so kind of course adjust those colors through the infotainment screen so i absolutely love that but overall this thing is finished like a mercedes-benz it's pretty much all you need to know I like the little kind of a diamond style lighting, overhead lighting up top here as well. A lot of contrast stitching. I like this uh, dark kind of cappuccino brown interior that we have with us here today. So overall, 100% on point. And I almost forgot to mention all of these wood finishes, they are matte wood finishes. Besides on the steering wheel, that's smooth, but everything else is a matte wood and it makes everything smell like a new car, which is absolutely wonderful. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen, 12.3 inch color touchscreen display. And of course, like I said, it is touchscreen, but you can control it using the touchpad controller and buttons located just behind the cup holders. And you can also say things like, Hey Mercedes, how may I help you? Turn on the radio. And there you go. I kept it simple there. I probably could have said a lot of other things and there's tons of commands for that, but you could basically say, hey Mercedes, whatever, and it'll do it. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system coming standard as well. Can adjust your drive modes up there and of course your ambient lighting. But my very favorite part, if you swipe up from underneath there, you got themes. You got adventure, trip, experience, efficiency, lounge, and standard, essentially adjusting everything everything from the ambient lighting colors to opening and closing the panoramic moonroof. It's just adjusts so many different things. So that is definitely a cool little feature that Mercedes does. So I always like to mention that, but of course you can check out your radio information up there. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there's your standard sound system, but then you got the 13 speaker Burmester sound system with 590 Watts. That's actually the one we have today that comes with a premium package, which goes for $1,375 and includes a bunch of other stuff besides just the sound system. But anyways, Having said that, let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. All right, felt like the subwoofer was by my left foot because I was getting the rumbling down there, but anyways, that was a very nice sound system. Ton of clarity with that thing. Again, ton of bass by my left foot, like I was saying, so. Professor did a wonderful job at yet again, and not only that, you got aluminum speaker covers built into the matte wood finishes in this thing, so very high-end look as well to go along with that. But anyways, last thing I wanna to mention to you guys on the GLE is when you do put this thing in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. You actually do have the option to have that take up the entire screen and there is a surround view monitor that comes with the premium package like i was just mentioning to you guys with the sound system which is going to let you know what is completely all around you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs so that pretty much says it all right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag up front as well in the back you're gonna have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard active brake assist a driver attention monitoring system cross wind assist blind spot assist parktronic adaptive braking technology and a parking damage detector with the mercedes me mobile app so if anybody hits your car door in the walmart parking lot you're going to know but not only that there is also a driver assistance plus package that goes for 1950 dollars that gives you adaptive cruise control active steering assist evasive steering assist rear cross traffic alert emergency stop assist speed limit assist, lane keep assist, lane change assist, and route based speed adaptation as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, that last package option should come standard. I'm just gonna start by saying that because 90% of what I just rambled off there comes standard on all other manufacturers like Mitsubishi, like Hyundai, like Kia, like Toyota, like Honda. They all get that stuff coming standard. So you would think Mercedes-Benz would put it there as well. But anyways, great interior quality. It's really second to none when it comes to interior quality. The best ambient light out there and I say that because the color options are so vibrant and the ambient lighting setup 
it's thicker. So a lot of times with other ambient lighting, it'll be kind of a thinner strip. With Mercedes-Benz, it's more vibrant and it's a thicker strip. So it really lights everything up a good bit more. So I love the ambient lighting in this thing. Also, of course, great driving dynamics, incredible acceleration, great handling, great braking with that 60 to zero and 118 feet. So the driving dynamics, they're always on point with any Mercedes-Benz really. So the only other constructive criticism I can think of really is it, this thing can get pricey quick. So from the MSRP, there is so many different options available like uh price as tested in this thing is a little over seventy one thousand dollars for example so good you can get a good bit in this thing but anyways let me know what you guys think of the gle 350 in the comment section below and that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold i wish you guys could smell this new house smell <laughs>